Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO store haul and I already did one this week where I got these two giant LEGO Star Wars direct to consumers. You guys can check that one out. Link in the description below card above. I also talk a little bit about the upcoming price increases in that video, which I definitely recommend checking it out, even though the double VIP point event is over now. We do have some interesting promos, though, which we're going to look at within this video if you're looking for any new LEGO Harry Potter sets. So to start us off, we have something from the other video, which actually just arrived in the mail today. We have the Santa's Front Yard promo. This, I believe, is available with $170 purchases, which it actually just ended today, so you will no longer actually be able to get this. Even online, I think it's already sold out. I called up LEGO customer service. Told them I spent $600 at their store, they didn't have this promo, so they sent me one for free. And huge thank you to the LEGO customer service, you guys are amazing, even though I don't really give a crap about this promo. Review probably in December, because that's when I do my Christmas reviews. Needless to say, interesting set, though something that I didn't really care for in the first place when it released last November, so moving on with the sets that I already have, starting off with the biggest one. We have set number 76406, Hungarian Horntail Dragon, 671 pieces, one minifigure. Oh no, this is getting out of hand. There are two of them. This set retails for $49.99 when it released back on June 19th in North America, June 1st in Europe. And, I mean, it's an interesting set. I thought it would make a good investment, not only because you get an exclusive version of Harry with arm printing and dual molded arms at that, though the Hungarian Horntail, this is probably the best version that we've ever gotten represented in LEGO form. No doubt it's something that maybe I might even open in the future just to mock around with and take it off the stand. Who knows what'll happen? You know, I bought it as an investment first and foremost, but maybe I'll open it at some point. It really depends on what happens in the future. Another set that I was happy to grab is one from last year, set number 76395, the Hogwarts First Flying Lessons. 264 pieces to get four minifigures, most notably the 20th anniversary Golden Professor Quirrell is in this set. Now this released last year, $30 I think it was? $40? You know, I could just look at my receipt, but it looks like they accidentally charged me twice for the next set that we're gonna look at, but you know, that was $5 cheaper, so I, I that's fine. I, I'm okay with that. I still got my promos. Anyways, this set has been going in and out of stock for quite some time, and they've only produced a short amount because this was a retail exclusive to Kohl's of all places last year in 2021, so I thought might as well pick up another one, you know, if anything nice investment piece once it retires at the end of the year and you know just a cool set in general I think and to finish off our sets I got another retailer exclusive this time to Lego stores we have the Lego Brickheads 40496 the Voldemort Nagini and Bellatrix Brickheads now I own all the Brickheads and they have actually been quite a great piece for investments especially a lot of the older ones are worth quite a lot the older Harry Potter ones which are really surprising to me so I thought might as well pick one of these up for an investment. If anything, if I don't want to sell this, I have them for parts because I do like to make custom brickheads and I've gotten a few of the different pet brickheads for customs in the past. $25, really nice set and you get three unique characters in here that we've never gotten before. Now the only new sets other than the promos for LEGO Harry Potter that I got today are these keychains. We have Hermione Granger. We have Harry Potter, and we have Ron Weasley, which these all released last year in 2021, I believe in January, I'm not 100% sure, but they just recently got these back in stock at my local Lego store. They've been going on and offline back on Lego Shop at Home, but recently, as of June 1st, we got two more here. We have both Voldemort and Dumbledore, which this is the newer Dumbledore. I believe it's from the most recent Chamber of Secrets set, so that's pretty neat that they actually put him on a keychain. Voldemort, I'm, it's, I, I don't know. I think this is the one from the Rise of Voldemort set, if I'm not mistaken, because he's wearing that black robe. The print is just slightly different, and the fit, I th yeah, this is definitely the one from the Rise of Voldemort set. The Harry, Ron, and Hermione 
which don't feature their little crests as you see within the Hogwarts moment sets. It's These are the ones from 2018. I just find it really odd that they made these. Maybe once these retire, we'll see like the year three variants or something. That's what I generally expect. Now with all that out of the way, it's time to look at what we're really here for. So starting off with the smallest of the promos that you can get both online and in store. I didn't think that this would be online, but we have the LEGO Harry Potter 30435 Build Your Own Hogwarts Castle, 67 pieces. They get a new Dumbledore in here, which is exclusive just because he has different legs compared to the one that you'll actually see on the keychain. It's the same figure, it's just he has regular legs instead of the skirt piece, which is a little disappointing that they couldn't just toss him in here because that's a really neat figure from that set. But I mean, it's nice for exclusivity you get another one of those collectible chocolate frog cards, and most notably is that this is an 8-in-1 poly bag. Now, how am I going to get 7 more of these? I don't know. I'm going to review the single one next week, so look forward to that. Though, once I can get 7 more, I'm going to build all of those up and do the, the master build for all 8 of these and make that micro-scale Hogwarts castle, which I honestly don't really even care for. I might even just keep one of these poly bags, because... You know, I already have all my chocolate frog cards and, you know, it's not like the build is anything that I generally care for. But anyways, still really neat poly bag. You get this when you spend $40 or more on LEGO Harry Potter products as of now into the end of the month. And for the grand finale, we have the set that is definitely one of the best LEGO Harry Potter promos that we've ever gotten, in my opinion. We have set number 40577. The Hogwarts Grand Staircase. 224 pieces. You get an exclusive version of Hermione Granger where she uses those dual molded legs and also the skirt piece that was introduced in the Hogwarts trunk set. So that's really neat. And this is also a different expansion type compared to other Hogwarts expansions that we've gotten in the past because you also happen to get those little uh, Technic pinholes in here to connect it, though we have a larger base compared to some of the other things, so you can't actually stack this on top of other things, though I'm going to do a whole video where I just show this alongside the rest of the Hogwarts lineup. You get this when you spend $130 or more on LEGO Harry Potter products. I've seen some people mistaken buying other things instead, trying to get this promo, but you can only get LEGO Harry Potter sets. And if you own all the LEGO Harry Potter sets, I suggest getting sets for investment like I'm doing or maybe getting more Hogwarts expansions if you want to make a bigger Hogwarts and mock around with stuff that's another thing that I recommend but otherwise investments is definitely the way to go look for stuff that's retiring a lot of the older sets are actually starting to disappear from Lego stores I know that mine had only two of the older things that were actually on clearance both the art set and the giant buildable figures of Harry and Hermione but as I said try and get the older stuff that's going to be retiring or definitely go for some of the stuff that's going with the price increase you guys can check out my video where I discuss that which I did earlier on in the week so yeah that's all that I have to say for this video lots of really cool stuff mainly went for the promos now I have the Harry Potter keychain whatever and of course those two giant direct consumers that I gotta eventually build or actually find a spot for first my room is still a mess still lots of stuff going on just finished building my 2006 slave one which you'll be seeing that video probably next week who knows and I also have two comparisons that I've been promising for quite a long time at this point that will hopefully also start coming as of next week so look forward to that so yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Tell me in the comment section below, did you get anything to get these two wonderful promos or are you going to wait out and see if they do it again like they're going to do with that castle promo once the Hogwarts Express releases, which is probably late August or something. I think there's a VIP thing. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll figure it all out. You know, that's the only thing that I'm missing other than the advent calendar at this point for 2022 and seven more of those poly bags, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to get those or not. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!